There's a bill uh, for being not supported, and I don't think uh, we should. So I oppose it, uh, and, and do so very keenly oppose it. Andrew Little. Mr Speaker, it's a pleasure to uh, speak in support of this uh, very well drafted, very well crafted employment relations protection of young workers amendment bill. You know, sir, this really is a night for the season. It's, a, it's the season of Dickens. We've had the Silas, the si we've had the Silas Manu of the National Party caucus, David Bennett, stand up here and talk about the freedom of workers and the freedom of employers to exploit, because that's the only freedom that's at stake here. That's the right that the, that the National Party is defending is the right for employers to exploit and to exploit the young. Then we had the then we had the, the Ebenezer Scrooge of the National Party caucus, Chris Ockenvold. Now he gave us a great list of National Party achievements and employment in the whole area of employment law. He talked about the 90-day no rights period and all the rest of it. There are a couple of achievements he didn't talk about. The increase in unemployment to now to the highest level in 13 years. He didn't talk about the highest level of youth unemployment in more than 20 years. I didn't hear that achievement on his list because he knows that their retrograde measures introduced by this government consistently over the last four years is having a deleterious effect on the employment rights of young, middle-aged and old alike. And then we had Fagan, Fagan in the form of Scott Simpson, who stood up there and he said, uh, he said that he was um, exploiting his young labour too. And the question I have for the Fagan of the National Party caucus is why, why bother paying them at all? Why, when you can get away, would you bother paying them at all? Now then, there was, there was Jamie, Jamie Lee Ross. I'm not quite sure how to, not quite sure how to characterise Jamie Lee Ross. So we'll call him the Little Dorrit of the National Party caucus. He's the Little Dorrit. But sir, the reason why I support this bill and why Labor supports this bill is because it confirms the basis of very civilised standards of conduct and employment in this country, and we need more of it. This uh, sets up employment rights or re-establishes employment rights and protections that young workers should have as of right and when they w walk into employment at the tender age that they go into in the period covered by this bill. And those very basic rights are that they should have their employment rights clearly articulated and specified in a written agreement, because this bill will ensure that young workers get to have that. It will ensure that they are protected against arbitrary and unfair dismissal because that's very important too and that's under threat. And it will give them protection in regard to their health and safety rights, that they will actually have some health and safety rights as well, because we know that this government doesn't care about that. We know they don't care about people in work having health and safety rights, having their rights spelt out for them. These are small obligations to put on any employer, easy to meet, easy to do, things that every respons responsible employer not only does, but does willingly because they want to do it, but this government doesn't understand that and doesn't get it. Because, you see, everything that this government has done in the, in the field of employment relations has taken this country back, has taken this country backwards and has hurt people, particularly young people. They introduced the 90-day no-rights period, the right, the, the right of an employer to treat somebody shabbily and never be held to account for it. They've introduced the obstructions to, uh, to workers to either join a union or to have access to the union during work, all those sorts of things. They don't get the fact that the employment relationship is a power relationship. And even if you are looking at employment from the point of view of the free marketeers that they all claim to be, let them understand this. The other thing about the employment relationship it is, is that it is one of imperfect information. It's one of imperfect information. One party has all the information, the other has very little at all. And if there's one thing that every parliament has a moral obligation to do, it is to recognise that there are those in, in power relationships that are vulnerable and are in a weaker position. And it is the moral obligation of parliament to step in, to intervene and to say, we will shore up one side of this relationship and make sure they have rights and protections. This government is a government of the master and servant. Our party and the opposition and the Green Party and others and, and New Zealand First are the parties of responsible, modern employment relationships and responsibilities. That's why we support this bill. That's why it's important to bring integrity to employment, to bring integrity to employers and to protect our young and vulnerable. Simon O'Connor. Oh, Mr Speaker. Look